But we just got 20 more comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> no, it's just three. It's just three. It's just three. All right, that's it. That's it. So don't go nowhere. We just got three more funny guys coming. Dude, like I said, I'm going. Do you want me to get Odyssey back? Are you leaving or are you just stepping out? No, I'm finding Odyssey. Okay. <laughs> Here she come, Odyssey. You don't have to leave, yo. Mother or something. Get some money. Alright, so check it out. We only got three more comics. Thank y'all for staying so much. Next comic coming to the stage, man. I, I don't know if this is his first time here and I haven't seen him before. I can't wait. Hey, yo, but you know what? We got people, you know, they're trying to say goodbye. I don't want to bring them up disrespectfully. So if y'all can kind of keep it down while you say your goodbyes. Hey, yo, Adam Johnson, yo, we was crying for you, dog. Yeah, it was quiet for you. My apologies. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, so next time we're coming to the stage is Trent Montague. Come on, show him some love. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everyone. My name is Trent Montague, as you know. <laughs> you might recognize me. I play football under the alias of Terrell Owens. <laughs> I was in a Hallmark the other day, and apparently they sell greeting cards for miscarriages now. And that's a joke in itself, I'm going to keep going. So, at first I was kind of shocked, but then I figured I can just buy them for people I, I don't like when they have a birthday, an autograph, and wish you weren't here. <laughs> I saw a recent Dan Aykroyd movie, and I noticed that all the comics from the 80s are getting really fucking old. <laughs> and thinking about all the people that were in Ghostbusters, that would be really awkward if one of them died and they had to bust him. I thought we were cool, man. The law is the law. <laughs> if I became the Dalai Lama, I would get sponsorships from like Nike and people just to fuck with everyone. Yeah, I support sweatshops. What are you gonna do about it? I'm a Buddhist. You're afraid to criticize me. <laughs> you know, Google doesn't delete anything. That's not a joke. I just want y'all to be scared of the internet history. Hey, what does this joke have in common with 9-11? They weren't funny. No, don't laugh, you'll cause a paradox. I asked a female dog to stop bitching, and it ceased to exist. Word jokes. I took a girl's virginity last week. She texted me asking for it back. I think if I fail at this comedy thing, my next line of work is going to be sumo wrestling. Because, okay, if you understand the rules to sumo wrestling, all you have to do to win is get the dude out of the ring. So if I get a restraining order on my opponent like a week beforehand, and it shouldn't be hard because he's a 300 pound dude in a diaper. <laughs> is there a woman sumo wrestling league? How would we know? <laughs> I have a crack baby. I dropped it. <laughs> Speaking of people who are addicted, I dropped my friend Larry off at rehab and they won't let me do that again. Apparently you can't sing the lyrics to Freebird while you're at a rehab facility. Lord help me, I can't say yeah. Human beings are one people, but sometimes I wonder, you know, if we all do the same shit cross-culturally. Like, are there people in China who try and burp their alphabet too? Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Some things don't translate well. Why do people say repeat after me? What's the alternative? Why the fuck do people still buy magazines? All you're gonna get is lies, Photoshop images, and bad text. The internet is free. <laughs> Anyone else think Asian food's the hardest to eat with chopsticks? It feels like we got the utensils mixed up. Corn dog nuggets fit in between two sticks just fine, but 2,000 little grains of rice, that's a little more of a challenge. <laughs> Yeah, I know there's a lot of comedians come up and start their stories with, now this really happened. 
and we just believe them up until they get too ridiculous. Everyone else needs to cite their sources. We get a pass. <laughs> you ever see that show Cash Cab? Yeah. It's kind of fun. But I want to see all the deleted episodes where they get the people they can't put on TV. So like, you know, when they pick up the pregnant woman going into labor. <laughs> okay, the hospital's about three blocks from here. And shut the fuck up! You old men are evil! Or, you know, the carjacker who comes in and knocks the guy into the passenger seat and he has to use his shout-out. <laughs> Help! <laughs> we have the money. Please just let Timmy go and I promise... We'll oh, sorry, these are my text messages. <laughs> I am for the le legalization of marijuana. Prop 19 is very, very exciting. But part of me, a little part of me, is going to be sorry to see it go because as it is right now, weed is like a secret club, except everyone's in it. <laughs> it's not like when you were a kid and you know it's exclusive to it. Like no girls, no weird kids that play with the boogers. <laughs> it's just like, hey, that guy you knew in third grade who we haven't seen in 12 years, he was ahead of you in this rotation cycle. <laughs> I just do that for three more minutes. taking a shit when the planets hit. <laughs> like, I mean, it was a really tall building and they had like a ton of bathrooms, so I figured someone was sitting there and they feel the splash. But I didn't, I didn't. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, y'all, that's all I got. I'm gonna like eight beers in by the time they got to me, so I'm gonna say goodnight. Thank you. Future child, you know, the one my wife is bearing, or you know, whoever, because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, mission, so it's okay to abort it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, but you know, it's just my personal belief. <laughs> um, fuck, what is that? Thing? Oh yeah, I got addicted to speed, and uh, I had to go to rehab. That's not really funny. <laughs> I'm not at the joke yet, but uh, <laughs> but I had to go to rehab. So please don't invite me to poker night because I might have a relapse. Speed, you know, the... Alright. <laughs> Took me a while. <clears throat> uh, my friend wanted to go to the beach because he wanted to get Tanner. But I was like, nah, fuck that. You could just save time by going and changing your name to Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> All these jokes sounded better in my head. <laughs> um, if you ever want to prevent frostbite, just drink antifreeze. <laughs> Um, my friend called me because he got his car repossessed, and I was like, oh man, it's cool, you could just call, you just call an exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that up, but cool, you know, you got it. <laughs> Alright, um, chloroform is the ultimate sleeping aid. <laughs> you don't believe me, you can just meet me out back, you know. And don't worry, I, I won't just leave you there, I'll bring you back home. 
people are going to get the wrong idea about me. Abortion, rape, okay. <laughs> um, I was watching, or I saw this movie poster and it said, your days are numbered. I was like, yeah, well, they're also lettered too. It depends on how I refer to them. Like, today is the limit, but it's also month day. <laughs> Um, I, I saw in the news that uh, the star of Tamra from Real Housewives was, uh, she already knows the punchline. Fuck, man. Shit. Uh, she, she was uh, involved in domestic violence. And, you know, I don't know what she's complaining about because I thought domestic violence is part of being a real housewife. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, the, oh fuck, I'll just get to the good material. <laughs> um, I saw online that Robert Pattinson was going to play Craig Bang in an upcoming battle pick, which I thought was cool because, you know, I wanted to see Robert Pattinson kill himself for a while now. And now I get to enjoy it with a popcorn and a medium beverage. <laughs> I hope he's a method actor. Oh, uh, and I'll leave you on this note. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention to the news, um, UVA is a pretty lacrosse team, pretty killer lacrosse team. But uh, I heard Duke rapes. <laughs> All right, that's my time. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, this comedy train is coming to an end. <laughs> We've been rolling all night on these tracks. Tony, you good? All right, let's try, baby. Let's check it out. The last compliment, y'all sat through 26 comedians tonight, man. Give yourselves a hand. Let's give all the comedians a round of applause. You definitely want to come back. Check us out. Thank y'all for staying. Thank y'all for coming. The last comedian coming to the stage, you will give him the same energy we gave the first comic. Let's give him a big Cafe Theater welcome to my man, Leo Miranda! my first time here because if I suck then I have like that to you know blame it on just kill it man just oh no that, seriously that works like I do that at my job you know like I work with a lot of people that don't know me so it's just like I fuck up it's like oh the first day sorry you know where's your sex dude you know I mean because those are the version anyway so fuck it and yes my name is Leo Morena that sounds familiar because Morena is the hot new contraceptive but no that's I'm um, Seriously, look it up. It's not the worst for it, all right? And I'm like, this cannot be a coincidence. This can't. And my mom's like, oh yeah, did you see that contraceptive I invented? I'm like, why did you do that? And she's like, never again. Who here's broke? Yeah. Yeah, damn right. Everybody's broke. I can't get that reaction if I was like, hey, who here's rich? Yeah. This doesn't work, man. It really doesn't. <laughs> Like, it's, it's so bad to be broke, but at the same time, it's cool because, like, you really get good at, like, just working with nothing, you know? It's like everybody here is a MacGyver, all right? <laughs> like, the other day, it's like, I need something to eat, and it's just like, okay, like, what am I going to make? I mean, like, I'll make shit out of food that isn't even really food, just something I see lying around. I made it for a Breeze sandwich. I mean, it smelled good, I mean, it should taste good, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's a Breeze in my house, all right? I'm a hothead, okay? That, that shit's like holy water, right? <laughs> like, everybody's come home and it's like, oh, it smells great, you clean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I clean it, man. Uh, speaking of my guy, with God, man, like, that guy must have been the most broke guy on the planet. Oh, seriously, like, I mean, you can do anything with anything. I want to see, like, him on a show besides MacGyver. Like, I don't know, like, it's like Robin Lee just around saying, oh, welcome to Lifestyles of the Broken Famous. We have MacGyver here. He built his 
bungalow out of toothpicks and Elmer's glue. Oh, I did that because I like the Robin Leach impersonation of you, but whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, I am broke. Like, I had to trade in my copy of Madden to get here for gas money. Like, oh, yeah, you know, but. Fuck it. I mean, like, GameStop giving out money for games, that's like, the best shit ever. Like, when I heard they were doing that, I like, fell to my knees and cried. I was like, damn, shit. You know? Like, I got so many games on there because I'm a huge gamer, you know? Um, it's so bad that, like, I try to work, like, game scenarios into, like, my everyday life. Like, I was gonna have dinner with my mom, I'm like, yeah, sorry, I'm running late. I'm uh, lost in the forest. Yeah, I'm lost in the forest. Like, it sucks as I have his navigator, but, like, I keep just saying, hey, listen all the time. Yeah, I'll be there soon. I'll bring you any bombs and arrows I find, okay? Don't worry. Work falls for that shit, too, you know? Yeah, I can't come in today. Ah, I'm poisoned. Oh, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, like, my skin's all purple. You know, I went to the doctor, and they are saying that I just gotta take this blue herb to get better. And then I'd, like, you know, mix it with the green one, they'll maybe even, you know, like, better on top of that. Or, you know, more healthy, I don't know. I don't have a green one, so I won't be in today, but, you know, there's this mansion across the street that might be there. Just a guess. <laughs> maybe I actually play Resident Evil? Seriously? <laughs> Fuck yeah. How fucked up would it be to live in that mansion? Like, not even like the zombies and shit. I mean, it takes, like, 10,000, like, things to do to do anything in a house, like, if I wanted to go to the kitchen to get something to eat, I had to like go through like this giant plant in the kitchen, vines everywhere. If I wanted to get something in the fridge, I had to move a statue to do it. <laughs> yeah, the drunk guy knows what I'm talking about. Christ, new statue all the time. Shit. Oh, I gotta go take a piss. Let go to the bathroom. Oh, there's three keyholes in here. What door has three keys to get into it? Do you think once you open it up, it's gonna have like jewels and diamonds and shit in it? No, it's just a fucking broke ass toilet and a typewriter. In the sink. <laughs> like, who the hell lives here? Stephen King? Christ, man. <laughs> oh, I swear, man. See, I forgot what she was going to do. Oh, that's right. Who here's racist? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Everybody's a little racist, don't lie. Even me, shit. I went to a Chinese restaurant the other day and I saw somebody ordering fries. <laughs> I like, what the fuck? Who orders fries at a Chinese restaurant? I told my friend this, and he's like, dude, man, like, the Chinese place next to my work, they make some banging fries, man. I'm like, dude, it's a Chinese restaurant, aren't you going to get the whole man or something, you know? He's like, no, man, I get the fries for like $2, dollars they're so fucking good, man. Like, dude, they, they cannot make good fries, all right? They're Chinese, they make Chinese, oh my god, I'm a food racist. <laughs> I don't like the food racist to mix, I'm sorry. You know, Tex-Mex, mm -mm, not with me. <laughs> all right, guys, that's my time, I'll see you guys later, all right? Guys, keep it going for Leo Marino. That's a tough spot to be in, in as well. How about a hand for Corey Marshall? Did a fucking amazing job on the team. One of the funniest dudes in the city. Guys, hey, you guys are fucking awesome. You sat through all of this. You were here for the first comedian. You were here for the last. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You guys were here for a while too, I think. Or you cheated and sat in somebody else's seat. <laughs> Uh, we really appreciate you guys being here. We'll be back on, in two weeks on the 25th. Uh, in the meantime, find this on Facebook. It's Cafe DM Comedy Night. Uh, I won't spam you with bullshit. My Twitter. Just... David Marie Garland's on Twitter. Uh, he is at David Marie. It gets weird often. If you couldn't figure that out before. <laughs> Have a fucking wonderful night, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs>